<sighs> Hello, everybody. Last time I played this game, it was, uh, I was doing some weird runtime shit, and my computer altogether as a whole had been, uh, doing that shit. So, I spent the whole entire day yesterday doing troubleshooting, and, uh, let me tell you, I'm kind of glad that I did that anyway, because, uh, I think I finally fixed the problem. Basically, it would just kept dipping frames whenever that I did shit, and when it did that, it would only do it for a couple of seconds at a time, but it was just consistent, and it even did it in this game. So it may hang here and there, but I'm gonna just keep it anyway. I don't know if it's this game specifically, because I had actually tested it out on other games, and this computer seemed to work fine on them, so... I don't know if it's just the area that I'm in or whatever, but... Now, the one thing that I know for sure is that there's a conversation that happens when you walk back. So we're going to go and listen to that conversation, and you're probably going to hear some words get garbled because it's going to stick when they're talking. I don't get it. This place has science laboratories, advanced research facilities, and the entire personnel who works here also lives here. But why do they have a penitentiary facility? That's just really dangerous. It's placing a prison in the middle of a city. It's pretty simple, really. Penitentiary facilities get financial support from the government. But I thought prisons are government facilities. <laughs> You're dreaming, boy. Prisons are just like any other business. They get cheap working labor, and they get tax cuts, and they get paid to run the place. Prisons have been getting private for decades now. There's over 250 correctional facilities that are owned by private companies in the United States alone. And most of them, if not all of them, are running over capacity. That means they get more inmates than they can handle. So any time the state gets a new prison to send their dregs of society to, they're happy to pay. But I thought this place is supposed to be, like, top secret. How can it be secret if thousands of inmates see it and then get sent back into society? That's the thing. This facility has been built and designed to keep inmates that have been sentenced in prison for life. We don't do thieves or rapists here, and only the craziest sons of bitches. I see that eyeball, Terry. I mean, people that have been sentenced to life and won't be getting out. Wow, I didn't know that. Who do you think does our laundry or cleans up this place? Who do you think works in the maintenance area? Under supervision, of course, but basically this place just found the best way to maintain itself. We're getting inmates to do all the dirty work without paying. So yeah, pretty smart move. Modern day slavery. Yeah, but they do need to pay the guards and the people keeping an eye on them. Yeah, but I'm not employed to watch just the inmates, you see. My job is to supervise the general security of this place. All the security teams on every level are divided into squads. And even though the squads sometimes shift between the wings, they never work on another level than the one they were originally assigned to. Only a few individuals are allowed to actually go to multiple levels. So I wouldn't be surprised if all the people that worked here weren't even aware that there's a prison down here at all. All they see is a big underground storage thing with many floors. They never get to actually visit the whole place. They just get to work, go to sleep, and basically live there. Which is why the residential area is a lot more cozy than the rest of this facility. Yeah, it must have been nice before, but it was damn creepy when we passed through on our way here. That's because it's empty and in ruins right now. I can't even imagine what happened down there. Hundreds of people. Just... <sighs> All right, we need to stay focused, mate. You just keep digging those files, see if you find anything useful, all right? Will do, Terry. Thanks for the chat. It helps, uh, it helps take the edge off, you know? It's all good. It's all yeah. That didn't hang once during that conversation. Good. That's good. That's really the only thing that I care about more than anything else. I can work through any performance problems. Tried to get that conversation out and it just kept hanging like every other fucking few seconds and it was bad. Oh god, what's the fucking... Five seven one something. Oh god, I gotta go and figure it out anyway because I'm gonna wind up fudging it up. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm inept. I think it's like five seven one six, but yes, that's exactly what it is. I just don't want to fuck it up and then lock it up. Get it all. 
lock me out of it and shit. So I wonder what we're looking for in this chapter, because this game's starting to heat up pretty big. And I'm excited. I got my volume high, and I'm ready to go. I mean, if we're going to be doing room entry, too, I probably should take a shoddy. Nothing in here. Nothing up there. I could just grab the laptop rather than do anything else with it. So, bye, laptop! Alright, I wonder what we're in for here. I'm sure we'll get shot at. Wow, this is an extraordinarily long loading screen. It must be loading a large area. At least I hope so. Also, that's a map over there. I should probably get my ass on that. Alright, we're still fighting zombies, then. I can dig with that. Yeah. Who's ready to watch me get the pants scared off me when I turn to look at this map? Oh god, we're way the hell back here. So what is our objective? Find Matthew's data hidden in a cheesy vampire book in the offices. Offices... Are I don't know where. Um, I'm gonna just assume this open area right here. It's gotta be. Because I need a yellow keycard too, but it's just gotta be in this open area here. Cause that looks like it's locked. That's a warehouse. And then maintenance station. And none of those sound like offices, so I mean... Just die. Take a number and die, bitch. I saw that. Nothing in there. Somebody's gonna scare the shit out of me at some point, and I'm not gonna like it. And I really don't need four band-aids, so we'll go ahead and just, uh, just move along with that. I'm gonna use one of these radios, finally. It's got a catchy tune. I guess that means the area is uh, wide open. 
However, if doing that, I can just pick them up again, I mean... Would I ever need more than two? Uh, I'm guessing no. I'm gonna eat these chocolate bars, too. So, I think this area is clear. Did I check the back doors? That is the pooper. And that's another pooper. Alright, yeah, we're good. Get in the doorway. Oh, Jesus. It is dark. It is dark in this bitch. Oh, he's there. He's a harmless one. Alright. Unless he, like, busts open the door or something. Oh, this blows, man. There's just so many rooms I gotta check out. Usually it gives you, like, a highlight when you get close to it or something, though, so... Maybe I'm just nowhere near it, you know? Oh, that guy gave me a fucking heart attack. I wasn't expecting a body to just be standing there. That's the key card. That's a playing card. Yeah, definitely the key card, but I need that vampire book. Give me the vampire book! Probably upstairs. Honestly, I probably should just check out upstairs now. Yeah, let's check out upstairs. It's the one place I haven't gone yet. They wouldn't put it too close to where the fucking... Game design standpoint, they wouldn't put that objective too terribly close to where the main is. I would assume. He has no arms. None. Zero. Poor bastard. I see nothing! This is just a room with a lot of nothing. Unless I was mistaken and they like put it right on. No, that's gotta be, uh, that's gotta be it. Let me close that. My job is boring, at least my co-workers are nice. Today I read a cheesy book, tomorrow I'll probably read it again. However, I'm not sure why I keep it. Elias asked to borrow it, but I said no. Walter as well. I might lend it to him. Does that mean I'll start lending my things? Alas, no, I guess I'm just selfish. Whatever others might think, it's better this way. No one ever asks me any favors. Alright, poet. We got a poet on our hands. And he doesn't even know it. I'm outie! We're good. So I guess we're back to zombies then. I, I thought I was expecting that it was gonna be shooty dudes. I wonder though, was it the same exact like thing in the last facility though that Jake was at? Was there a zombie outbreak there too? That's why they took the whole place down to the ground. There's so many questions that I still need answered. I really just don't think that anything at all, like, I don't know what's up with the weird flashbacks and shit, as well as what the ghost shit has to do with anything in this game, but I do completely believe one thing, and that's Jake did nothing in that first facility. I, I thought that, like, he had some weird, crazy fucking paranormal power and he killed everybody, but everybody was already dead. As we were already... Hey. 
as we were already like informed from Terry, like it they were killed off anyway from the protocol that they were starting to that they're starting to do here. So they killed everybody off and gassed off like the remainder. I don't know why he's still alive when he was getting gassed off and why those people died or whatever, but or maybe it wasn't even anything to do with that. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Found it. Good job. This will sure come in handy. I'll be sure to send it to the right people once we get out of here. Thanks. Here, as promised, this will probably help you if you don't want to draw attention to yourself. That's good. I'm gonna just keep it on all the time. You've seen the train station. Connects with the train in the maintenance area. Yeah, actually, I kind of was wondering that. So we got to get over there. Alright, guess we're doing parkour, bitches. Alright, now, I really don't like gas mask areas. But let's do it. Like, I really don't like these gas mask areas. Also, I love the stamina system in this game. Like, it's not annoying, but at the same exact time, you gotta keep an eye on it. So, you don't need to, like, constantly feed your character and shit. Terry. Yes, sir. That's a cipher. A bill cipher. Alright. <clears throat> this is a nightmare. It's getting worse. People are dying and we can't seem to find the cause of the infection. No one tells us anything. We just work on what we are given. It makes no sense. People want to resign, but we can't. We're under a three-year minimum contract. Sure, we were told about the risks, but what are the odds? It's like the probability of a plane crash. You expect your neck you expl you expect your plane to crash, but when it does, there's nothing you can do. All we can do is focus on trying to find a cure to this unknown infection while trying not to get infected ourselves. Pretty much. Those are beakers. Well, test tubes. Test tubes and beakers are very different. So we got a step ladder down there. I don't know what that is, but it's ammo and I want it. He said I can't access the south wing until the gas is gone, so... We gotta clear the gas first. How are there zombos? Oh yeah, zombos don't breathe. They better not have too many zombies in here because... This will literally suck if I have to fight like 50 zombies in a gas mask. Because this is just cramped as fuck. There are people behind me too.
And the music is on a loop. I'm not a big fan of this random juking to the side thing that they're doing now. That I don't remember these zombies ever doing before. They're all running around underneath me. Glorious! Where are they all? I know there's more. Maybe not. I do want that helmet though. Somebody dropped a helmet. Hello, science nerds! Look, I know you're mad at the pewters, but, you know, it's not my fault. I thought computer nerds were supposed to be, like, passive and nice and not throwing shit at your face. So I'm gonna close this because I'm gonna have some required reading to do. I don't like this area in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I knew what was happening eventually, thus I was prepared, but God, it's worse actually doing it than thinking about when it's gonna happen. Alright, let's read some lore. Let me make this clear. This infection was not spread from here. Our job is to run tests and provide results from samples we are given. We make no decisions. Janus are the ones calling the shots. One problem, two opposite solutions that cannot coexist. If they can't coexist, then pick one and focus on it instead of trying to work on both without communicating your discoveries. Even though they shut one project down, the entire personnel is now split. It's like no one can trust each other because they used to work on the other project. It makes no sense at all. We are supposed to be a team. Yeah, that is... that is peculiar. I need a level 2 key card now. What is this poop? God, I feel like I'm playing SCP Containment Breach. Literally, even with the gas mask. Where the fuck am I going? There it is. I don't have anything but aid spray, so... I guess we're doing that for the time being. And a can of soda. Did I not drink it? Why can't I drink you? Do I not have enough, like, stamina gone to use it, or... Is that how that works? I don't know. This is an elevator. Oh, fuck me sideways. There's another floor. There's another elevator. Oh, ream me out. I don't have the key card to that either, so... I guess level 2 meant level 2, as in the next floor. Oh, this sucks!
I can't lie, the zombie swarms are now just starting to get borderline annoying. I was hoping that that worked as a distraction, but that did not. Especially considering the fact that once a zombie gets right up on top of your face, you can't do anything because they lock you in and you can't hit their face. That's the other thing that makes it all the more aggravating. And I'm doing this all on like three frames. I don't know. Of course there's more. I don't know what the hell went down in here, but it's creepy looking. You no longer have the right to have a head. But you do have the right to die. That's a thing you can do. Can they stop just putting bodies in random spots like that? Like, that's just fucking creepy, man. Like, I just turned the corner and there's a dude standing on the top of the staircase. Like, what the fuck? Not gonna lie, not a big fan. What the fuck is this? What's all the pet carriers for? What was in here? Oh god, it's probably tests on animals, but, like, that's fucked. Looks clear. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of those in case I start bleeding again. Well, I guess this area is clear. I think we just gotta go towards the center now at this point. Yeah. Jesus Christ! <sighs> God damn it. Every fucking t every goddamn time. I just want this part to get over with already. I can't deal, man. 
Is that the old Glock? It is. I wonder if those cameras actually work. Like, I wonder if they actually show live feed from wherever the camera is. Alright, so, what's up here? Because... I already went in the oxygen room, right? Yeah, oh, I gotta go over there, so... Uh, I am... Where am I? Now, this is where I was before. This is the top floor now, so... Air filtering system. I don't know. But, I mean, we still haven't gone to Lab T2, so I think we should go down there. I need to turn the valves, so they're probably right in this room and I was a retard and didn't see them, to be honest with you. So... This isn't a puzzle for here, is it? No. Good. So where are the valves, then? Underneath the floor. Oh, god damn it. And I don't have the key card to access that lab anyway, so I guess we're going under the floor, guys. Fuck. You know, Resident Evil taught me to never trust labs. I'm inclined to think they were going somewhere. Bring it on, bitch. Oh no, come on. And I'm gonna get hoarded because it's the perfect time to get hoarded while you're doing that because it's supposed to give you pressure. No, that's annoying. It was a neat design, but, like, not the best implementation, I guess. Like, and I'll tell you why that doesn't work in just a second here. It doesn't work because you're not pulling that valve while you have things attacking you. Like, that worked with Cry of Fear, but Cry of Fear had one slow-moving enemy that you could easily outrun and you're just watching him the whole entire time and you're like oh god am I gonna get smacked in the head the whole entire time you know that doesn't quite work here with these guys that can like run at you you know if the zombies walked that would have been perfect that would have been perfect but the way that the zombies are implemented in this game like a horde sequence while you're pulling the valves and shit under the floor just doesn't work because you're just gonna wind up being in a combat situation.
Yeah, do me a favor and just die. That's not going to remind me every single time that I pull one, is it? Because I hope not. How many headshots does it take to kill a zombie? Apparently more than I fucking have. Didn't know human skulls were so fucking durable. Please climb up. Thank you. Also, I just realized this is here. I hope we get to see the old fuck. No, I don't think we are, but it is a neat area to uh, sneak off into. Because uh, I don't think that this is a place that we were at before. I don't think we can get in here. I don't know how long this recording's been going on for, but too long works for me. I've had enough bullshit for one day, thank you. Alright, that that's literally enough with the fucking zombie hoarding, like... It's literally annoying now. I don't know why I can't drink those, but I can't. Alright. Well, I think we're good. Now I can hear shit. I think I'm going to cut the episode prematurely here, guys, and then I will get back to it in the next part immediately, because I wanted to do two parts today and something else. And I don't feel like recording this all day long, so let's go do that, and then we'll see what the, uh, what the next wing has. Talk to you guys later.